asking, isn't Isaac Newton the guy that had a great idea all because he saw an apple fall? Oh. Ow. Supposedly, when Newton saw the apple fall, he began to think along the following lines. The apple must experience a change in velocity as it goes from just hanging on the tree to falling to the ground. Newton's second law states there must be a force that acts on the apple to cause it to become accelerated. Indeed. He calls this force gravity yeah. and the associated acceleration the acceleration due to gravity. That's right. Newton understood that gravity was the force of attraction between two objects. He also understood that an object with more matter or mass exerted the greater force or pulled the smaller object toward it. Yeah. That meant that the large mass of the Earth pulled objects toward it. That's why the apple fell down instead of up, and why people walk on the ground and don't float in the air. Then he imagined the apple tree twice as tall. Again, he expects the apple from the doubly tall tree to be accelerated toward the ground. Newton's idea suggests that this force that we call gravity reaches to the top of the tallest apple tree. Then came Sir Isaac Newton's most truly awesome idea. If the force of gravity reaches to the top of the highest tree, uh. might it not reach even further? Ew. What if gravity extended to the moon and beyond? Uh. Isaac calculated the force needed to keep the moon moving around the Earth. Then he compared it with the force that made the apple fall. After allowing for the fact that the moon is much farther from the Earth and has a much greater mass, he discovered that the forces acting on the apple and the moon were the same. Just as the apple is pulled to the ground by gravity, the moon is held in an orbit around Earth by the pull of Earth's gravity. Isaac Newton's calculations changed the way people understood the universe. No one had been able to explain why the planets stayed in their orbits. What held them up? Yeah. Less than 50 years before Isaac Newton was born, it was thought that the planets were held in place by an invisible shield. That is correct, yes. Isaac proved that they were held in place by the sun's gravity. That's right. He also showed that the force of gravity was affected by distance and by mass. Newton really didn't discover gravity oh. as much as he found a way of explaining it. Isaac Newton thought the universe worked like a machine and that a few simple laws governed it. Yeah. He realized that mathematics was the way to explain and prove those laws. Indeed. Isaac Newton was one of the world's greatest scientists because he took his ideas and the ideas of earlier scientists and combined them into a shared picture of how the universe works.